Good morning guys, you seem to have liked my previous vlog where I kind of gave you a little bit behind the scenes of what I spend my day doing as a full-time YouTube creator. Today, let's do it again. This time, let's focus on the things that we need to do as creators in order to stay on top of our game. What I do every Tuesday morning is I meet with five other YouTube creators and social media guru people as a part of a mastermind group. Every week we get together and one of us is in the hot seat and the other five of us just spend a half hour answering that person's questions, giving them ideas, giving them feedback, just helping them out the best that we can. And so I am in one that I kind of host and put together and I'm gonna introduce you guys to those people right now. These are the people I get to hang out with. Uh, real quick, this is John. John, introduce yourself, tell us what you do. I'm John, I have a channel on YouTube called Board Shorts TV. Um, we uh, also do a, a YouTube social media convention called CVX Live. Awesome. It's good. I'll be out there. You guys should come. If you're not there, that's me. Here's Adrian. Hi, Adrian. What do you do? Hello. I am currently the director of sales at the Juilliard School in New York, working on a bunch of online courses. So I'm all about online advertising, social media strategy. All that stuff. Yeah, she's like our overall general social media expert guru. Um, John has a lot of experience with events. He brings a lot of that to the table. Evan Carmichael, business entrepreneur guy. Tell us about your channel. I have a channel off my name, Evan Carmichael. I believe in entrepreneurs. I've done a number of collabs with Tim on his channel. So yeah. hopefully a familiar face. Yeah, cool. You guys uh, learn more about business entrepreneurship. Check out his channel. And this is Ashley and Mike. Tell us a little bit about your story. What you guys? Our story. Yeah, we met on a show called Dancing with the Stars. I do a lot of videography and production work, um, freelance work, and Ash is a pro dancer. Yeah. Yeah. So they were doing like a a Dancing with the YouTube Stars type thing for a little while now. He's work, uh, Mike's working on some children's books and other things. So every week we all get together and we just help each other out. And they gave me some great feedback, which I'll share with you guys here in a second. Oh, Jason Ergo is usually here too, um, the owner of Social Blade, but he's missing today. So he's not here, but normally he's here as well. Each week, one of those people, like we just rotate who's in the hot seat. And so next week, one of them will be in the hot seat and we will, the rest of us will pour into what they're doing. So you guys haven't surrounded yourself with other people who can help you, encourage you, motivate you, help you, like challenge you, give you ideas and perspectives. Like if you don't have that built into maybe your, like your weekly rhythm as a creator, I highly recommend uh, that you find some people uh, they don't have to be experts. It's just like different perspectives is just really valuable to have. I'm going to be jumping into doing some research here in a second. I'll show you guys what that looks like as I prepare for a video coming up for you. But first of all, I need to edit my family's uh, video for we're doing beta. So one vlog every day on our family's channel over at youtube.com slash smoothies. Link to that is down below. But I got to edit this first, get that up, and then I get to go do some of the research. There we go, not an awesome thumbnail, but uh, you know, for the amount of time I have to give to this, that's just gonna be what it's gonna be. I mean, I usually edit my thumbnails when they're kind of small, closer to that size, because that's typically the actual size that people will see it in like the related videos on YouTube or something. So I figured I, I edited it smaller so I can see, like, are, are the shoes still clear at this size? No, not really. Can you see that this is a shoe chart? No, not really, but, um, that's the, total, that's the time I have to give to it, you know? The thumbnails are so important, you guys know, but I just don't have time today. So, Zeke is home sick today. The, my wife and the rest of the kids are out at um, uh, doing some, like the kids get the, some playtime with some other friends of theirs, uh, some other homeschool friends of theirs, and the wives meet and hang out and do Bible study and stuff. So, Zeke is home with me because he threw up last night. So he's gonna do some school. Let me get you on the computer here. He's going to do abcmouse.com, which is something that uh, we use as part of our homeschool stuff. Uh, not as part of the curriculum, but just something that the kids get to do for fun. Uh, but it's still educational. So that's what they're working on. I'm gonna get this video queued up and uploaded now.
This is certainly a thing that keeps me from getting work done. What are you girls doing? I mean, you're trying to work. You girls come in. Those are all the smoke alarms I need to replace in our house. They're all old and need expired and need to get. I bought new ones waiting for them to show up in the mail so I can install them. I don't think this is stuff I want you girls playing with. In fact, I need to get some work done, okay? I know you're really cute and all, but let's go give you to mommy since she's home now with you kids. That is one nice thing about working from home as a creator is I get to have lunch with my family every day. Well, I guess that's because we homeschool them too. <laughs> Otherwise, all the kids would be at school and I would be home alone. And that would not be nearly as much fun. <laughs> No, that would not be as much fun, would it? <laughs> Vlogging for you. We figured people get to see what you explain, but they don't get to see what you actually do. <laughs> around the house stuff in between meetings. Yep, the real stuff that happens. Research. Good night. <laughs> night, 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 Karis. Good night. Go then. Time to go down for a nap. Night, <laughs> night. Okay, we have Come on, let's go. This is a not so much fun part of being a full time creator. I got these taxes in the mail saying that my sales tax is late and then I owe $20. But that's not true. I actually even have my carbon copy of the check uh, right here. It's in here that I did send it in. So. Got a call and deal with the Department of Revenue, which sounds fun. <laughs> well, I lost that one. They, uh, I owe the money. <laughs> so, uh, I write the government a check and send it out to them. You know, um, I'm pretty sure that the lady I worked, I talked to, sounded like she hated her job. Uh, just not very friendly, polite, very short, brief, like, you're annoying me, stop talking to me, I don't really wanna be here. And I think I understand what that feels like. We've had those jobs, that's why part of being a YouTube creator is so awesome that you, we get to do what we love and serve a community of people who are, who are getting great value out of what we do, and it's just awesome. But one of the things we have to do in order to stay on top of that, right, is we have to keep, we have to stay on top of the game. We gotta, we gotta keep growing, keep improving. And so one of the things I do uh, is I have an um, RSS reader where I go through, uh, well right now it looks like I have a thousand plus um, <laughs> blog posts and messages and news articles that I read through. So I'm gonna go through all of these because uh, it's important, right, to stay on top of the game and to keep learning, YouTube keep growing. I'm not gonna read all these, I'm gonna skim all the titles, and then what I do is I pick out the ones that um, are, are most important that I think you guys need to know about, and I make a video then just, um, just highlighting those and summarizing them for you. But no matter what industry or whatever niche you're in, whatever you're doing on YouTube, like you have to stay on top of the game. Like if you're a family vlogger, like you need to continually improve your storytelling skills and storytelling abilities, right? If you're gaming, like that's a whole industry you need to stay on top of. If it's if it's cooking or beauty or fashion or it doesn't matter, like things are always changing and it keeps going up. You know, as more and more people come on the space, so it's important that you guys do whatever you need to do to stay on top of it. Now, hopefully subscribing to this channel, being a part of the video creators community, and me doing all this work for you and summarizing it, like that's one way you can stay on top of the game. Uh, as far as like YouTube is concerned, now this platform is growing and developing and changing all the time and new tactics and strategies are updating, like that's what I'm gonna read about and summarize for you. But whatever like your specific niches that you're that you're serving on YouTube, like that's a whole other thing you guys, you know, need to study and and stay on top of. So I wanna hear from you guys in the comments about what, what niche you're in and then two, how do you stay on top of the game in that niche and how are you continuing to grow your channel and improve your content and be like whatever you need to, like skills you need to acquire, things you need to learn, whatever. Regardless of what you're doing, the people who win are the people who study, who grow, and who improve consistently over time. Oh, it's about, it's been about three hours going over all that stuff. 
Another thing that I do to stay on top of the game here on YouTube is this right here. I read a lot of business books. I have some of those here, and then I also have some over here that uh, I have an audible.com subscription. That's how I listen to most business books is uh, just by um, you know, paying a monthly fee and getting access to these uh, these business books here. So I would highly recommend you guys do something similar if you want. Uh, ooh, really good book. Definitely highly recommend. That one was really helpful for me uh, when I was getting started in video creators. So I'll put a link in the description below to my affiliate link for Audible. You can sign up and get any Audible book for free just to get started. Listen to it on double speed on your phone while you're driving or traveling or shopping or whatever you're doing. And, and really improve uh, what you know and learn about business and how that, how that impacts your channel. I'll also put a link in the description below to my top recommended books, like if you're just getting started, the ones I would suggest. So that'll be an Amazon link down there below too if you want to get started. But that's another way I stay on top of it. And for now, I'm done being on top of my game for the rest of today. <laughs> uh, I need to uh, review a whole bunch of stuff that my business manager has been working on. Uh, I need to draft a proposal for an ongoing consulting arrangement for a potential client and uh, do a whole bunch of other stuff before I kind of shut down and just take some time off tonight. Like I know last time, and often I am working until late, but like tonight, uh, I want to be done around dinner time and then shut down for the rest of the day so I can just be with my family and my kids. So thank you for hanging out. Let me know again what you guys think about this format, if I should do another one or not, and I will see you guys again sometime soon. I don't think this video will go up till next week, but I'll see you sometime soon for another Video Creators video. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.